Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my Year in Beck series. Today is all about love you on Christmas. And um, this one was interesting because there were only two songs on there. You know, um, Year in Beck has been such a breath of fresh air. I love the way she does everything. You know, she has a very beautiful, powerful voice, but it's so clear and it's so refreshing. It's insane, you know, and what I love about her album so far is it feels a very personal. It's like she just invited you to the showcase and, you know, there's not a lot of production happening. It's very raw and natural, which I really enjoy, you know, her albums and uh, sounds feels uh, very natural very you know that's just how her voice is she was in the studio having fun and it sounded so good they have to they had to record it that's exactly how i feel every time i listen to an album of hers and i just love the way she sings how clear it is how impactful it is and how she has such a powerful and unique voice she doesn't need to do too much you know and i love the fact that she goes for mostly simple things simple production simple beat simple everything and she lets her voice do everything the voice is the highlight and i love that so much so once again the vocals were out of this world. I love this. It's really good. I wish there were more songs, but it's okay. I'm not mad at it. You know, as a firm hater of single albums, this one is an ex exception, you know. Even though there's only two songs, that's not how it feels. It feels like you are going through like a journey. And also, oh, I challenge you to listen to this album only once. Every time I listen to it, there's never been a time I've listened to it once. Like, as soon as November song is over, loop, loop, loop. Like, I have to listen to it so many times before I feel like, okay, I can, you know, move on to other things. Because I definitely get lost in the moment, which is how pretty the vocals are. Now, although I love both of the songs on the album, there's definitely a favorite, and that is Love You on Christmas. Just 
oh what a song like it's a truly it's truly a representation of everything that I was just saying it's simple you know the production is still very high quality but it's simple and then vocals are really what get you through the song and I love that so much clear powerful and unforgettable so I love this and I'm looking forward to what is going to come next let me know in the comments how you felt about this album. Which song ended up being your favorite? Is it Love You on Christmas Like Me? Or maybe you are more of a November, a November song person. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If you want more, check out her dedicated playlist on the channel.